the Nintendo Switch is entering its third holiday, and it's certainly no secret that it is a fantastic console with some great games. Of course, that doesn't seem to be slowing down either, with more to come such as Zelda's Link's Awakening, Dragon Quest XI, Luigi's Mansion 3, Nino Kuni, and Pokemon Sword and Shield still to come, so keep those in mind, which I can almost guarantee you these are going to be some great games to pick up on the Nintendo Switch as well this holiday. With all that said, I wanted to compile a list of the best Nintendo Switch games available right now to pick up this holiday, whether that be for yourself, your child, or whomever. Now there's a lot of great games for the Switch, so I may miss a few that you love, and if I do, let me know in the comments below for others to discover those as well. Anyways, let's get right into this, and I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. At number 25, we have Yoshi's Crafted World, an adorable 2D platformer that is great for all ages, especially for young kids. The game isn't overly difficult, which is great for the younger audience, and it offers a great level design with the power of cuteness to follow. Chances are you may have never heard of this franchise, but Disgaea has become one of my favorite RPG franchises in years. Disgaea 5 offers a very wacky but fun story about demons, but don't let their odd behavior fool you from this game being a fun and tactical RPG. The thing is, it also has one of the best post games as well for those who really want to challenge themselves. Mario and Rabbids is one of those things you don't really expect to happen, then you see it and you think why, but when you try it you know it's a perfect match. It's not a simple cash grab either, but rather it's one of the best and most clever tactical turn based RPG games on the market. Sure it may be a little niche, but that doesn't stop it from being a great game. Octopath Traveler boasts some of the prettiest pixel art games have ever seen, which is also aided with great old school turn based combat. The story as well is rather enjoyable, but the catch is you aren't just playing through one story, but rather you have eight separate protagonists with their own personal stories to tell. If you like old school JRPGs from the 90s, this is a must have. Stardew Valley has been making waves in the game industry for the last few years with its combination of RPG gameplay, beautiful pixel art, and its farm-like simulation. If anything, it may be one of, if not the most addicting games on the entire list, and there's a reason it's so popular. 2D Mario has become one of the most recognized video game franchises ever with games such as Super Mario Bros. 3, New Super Mario Bros. for the Wii, and Super Mario World. But now with Super Mario Maker, you can make your own Mario games the way you want to. Whether you want to make a new school Mario or old school, the option is yours with a plethora of creator tools. Once you're finished, you can then share it with the world to play. Divinity Original Sin 2 is simply one of the best RPG games ever created, and when it came to the Nintendo Switch, that didn't change. I could easily rank this game much higher on the list and be perfectly fine with that. For the most part, we have mainly talked about single player games, but for you more multiplayer oriented minds out there comes Splatoon 2. It's a unique twist from the third person shooter genre where instead of killing your enemies with guns, you use paint to splatter your enemies and take control of the area by painting everything in your path. Don't fret though, there is a single player story as well, just in case you're wondering. Cuphead is one of those games that will draw you in immediately with its old classic cartoon like art style and music. It however also has great gameplay to go along with its unique visuals. It is a very challenging game though with its run and gun gameplay, so prepare yourself for a fun but difficult time. Crash Bandicoot may be 20 years old, but with the remake of the original three games, all packaged in the Insane Crash Trilogy, comes one of the best platforming experiences on the market. Though don't let his cartoon style graphics fool you from this being a very challenging franchise. You're certainly going to get your money's worth here, and it just feels right at home on the Nintendo platform. Speaking of remakes, 
Spyro Reignited also got a similar treatment with getting all three games remade into one brilliant package. Spyro is a spunky little dragon that will adventure to several different worlds to collect gems, beat baddies, spin gems, and collect more gems. It's a 3D collect-a-thon platformer and one of the best ever made at that. Xenoblade 2 is a huge RPG. It gives you several big open landscapes to explore, fun combat with a bit of monster collecting aspect to it, and a story with some interesting characters along the way. If you're a fan of the RPG genre, this is a must have. Tales of Vesperia has long been one of my favorite JRPG experiences. Not only does it boast a timeless art style to it, but offers a great cast of characters, a good story, and a fun combat system. If you like JRPGs with a good story, this is one to pay attention to. Hollow Knight is often referred to as the Dark Souls of Metroidvania games, and yeah, that about sums it up. It's a very challenging Metroidvania, and to many may possibly be the best Metroidvania game ever made. I'm not necessarily going to disagree with that statement either. To think that a Sonic game would be one of the best games on a Nintendo device is so odd to think about considering their intense rivalry in the 90s, but now it's 2019 and that is the case. However, Sonic Mania is more reminiscent to the old school 90s Sonic than the new school Sonic, and that is what is so good about it. It's such an amazing 2D platformer, and just like the 90s, the formula is still as great as ever. Gotta go fast. If you grew up in the 90s, chances are you probably remember Pokemon Red and Blue. These are some of the most memorable and best games ever created, and now we have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, which is a bit of a reimagining of the old classics. While it is the same world, there are several differences such as riding your Pokemon, no random encounters, and no wild Pokemon battles. Keep in mind, Pokemon Sword and Shield will be coming this holiday, and it's looking great. If you want to prepare yourself for the highly anticipated Bayonetta 3, you can always try Bayonetta 1 and 2, which is available now for the Switch, and just like it was then, Bayonetta is some of the best beat-em up games in the genre. They're over the top from the character standpoint, and the combat is so incredibly satisfying. Fire Emblem has become a bit of a staple franchise for Nintendo in recent years, and Three Houses shows exactly why. It's pure quality with a ton of content, with a total of three separate houses to join, giving you three separate campaigns to play through. It has fun tactical RPG combat, interesting characters, and a good overall story. Three Houses is just a good game all the way through. Some of my favorite games ever made has been 2D platformers. So it would be hard to crack my top 5 2D platformers ever made, but Celeste may have done just that. I love a good challenge, and that is exactly what Celeste does, but it also has a great story which I wasn't expecting. Seriously, if you're a fan of these type of games, just go get this game right now. You'll thank me later. Speaking of 2D platformers, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is yet another great installment to the legendary Donkey Kong Country franchise. The mix of art, platforming, and David Wise's brilliant soundtrack, you know you're playing one of the best 2D platformers on the market immediately. Mario Kart is one of the only games I've ever played that you can give almost anybody controller to, and they'll immediately enjoy it. It's just universally loved by so many people and for good reason. It appeals to all ages and you don't even have to be a gamer to enjoy it. It can be chaos with all of the different weapons, but it's a fun kind of chaos. It may be a little early to rank this game so highly, but I'm in love with this game. Astral Chain is arguably the best looking game on the Nintendo Switch, but it offers a fun combat system that Platinum is so well known for, and it has an interesting story as well. If you like beat-em-up games or JRPG games, it really is a must-have. For many people, Zelda Breath of the Wild 
is one of the best games ever created. For others, it's overrated, but I think I can assure you that no matter which side you fall on, the love for this game is real, and rightfully so. Zelda is often viewed as a franchise that has revolutionized the game industry, and it's one of the most well-known franchises ever. The fact that they not only had the guts to change up the formula with Breath of the Wild, but also succeeded and went above and beyond all expectations. It has become an instant classic and a game that I think people will be talking about 10 years from now for its fun combat, clever puzzles and dungeons, and its massive open world with endless discoveries to find. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of 3D platforming collectathon games, and Mario Odyssey I would arguably say is the best the genre has ever seen. Its main catch is that you use Cappy, Mario's hat, to take control of others' bodies, and take on new abilities. You may turn into a frog, a Goomba, or even a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The possibilities are endless, but even once you finish the game, it really is only just the beginning, with 1000 power moons to find. The fun won't be ending anytime soon. The top three games for the Nintendo Switch in specific was hard for me to choose, mainly because all three are just so good, but ultimately, no puns intended, I had to choose Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's seriously impressive with what Sakurai and Nintendo has achieved with this franchise and joining so many amazing game franchises together. In Smash Ultimate, you're able to fight Sonic, Mario, Banjo-Kazooie, and Cloud Strife in one game. It's an achievement for not just Super Smash Bros. and Nintendo, but games in itself. It also helps that the game is just so much fun. One thing is certain though, if you have a Nintendo Switch, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a must-have. Anyways, that's it for this video, but I hope you enjoyed it, and if I missed any game that you like, let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that bell notification and subscribe button. Peace out.